right guys, here it is, my Primark Land Raider, Fang, I've called it. Um, done a lot of uh, different conversion bits on this, so I'll take you through it and try and remember what I did. Um, so yeah, it's now primed using poly, uh, Vallejo Polyurethane Grey Primer. First thing to note, the pre heresy tracks. As you can see, they're very pre heresy looking. I brought them off eBay an absolute age ago, probably about six months or more. So, guys, you're just going to have to do a search on pre heresy stuff if you want to find them, I'm afraid, because it has been a long time. Um, the side details to note here that's Cyborg Minis, a nice wolf design, and this is also Cyborg Minis part. Oh, no, sorry, correction, that's Chapter House Studios. It was actually a rhino door which I've trimmed down. Um, so don't forget to go and check them out. Uh, moving round, what else have I done? Yes, I've extended the exhaust stacks on the Land Raider using uh, some Cities of Death exhausts from the Terrain Kit, which I think have worked quite well, gives it a different look. Another Chapter House Studios door for a Rhino, and once again obviously the other side, another Cyborg Minis um, armour plate, decorative plate as you want, might call it. I also, on the front door, I've uh, added a couple of wolf pelt, sort of like dangly bits from the Space Wolves Terminator kit. And yeah, that's a Chapter House Studios shield as well, but I thought it looked quite cool on the front door like that. And moving on to the top, uh, Cyborg Minis once again, two more of their decorative plates, one on either side, I think they work quite well, uh, and I'm, do you know what, I'm not 100% sure guys, but this wolf uh, statuette sort of thing that I've put on the top of here, uh, I think it's, I can't exactly remember, I'm sure my Chuffy1976 will remind me, I have purchased it from Cyborg Minis or Chapter House Studios, sorry guys I can't remember which one it was it's a great mini, um, it actually comes with a rider and a saddle you can an option if you put on if you wish but I brought it for the purpose of uh, like an ornate statue on the top of the Land Raider used a bit of Cities of Death scenery there to give it a little bit of an arch flavour to it which I think has worked quite well um, this thing will look at its best obviously when it's painted but I always like to show them first in their uh, core state. And this little uh, sensor bit here was actually from a Forge World Upgrade kit to create a uh, Helios Pattern Land Raider. Um, but I like I like putting that there. I think it looks quite cool, a different flavour from the normal uh, Land Raider. So yeah, there it is, guys. My Primark Land Raider. I decided to leave it there because sometimes I think you can just overdo these things. Like I say, it's true uh, beauty, for want of a better word, will show once it's been painted. So yeah, there it is guys. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.